Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Good luck. I apologize. I did do a volume check. I needed to do two volume checks. There we go. That should fix the echo that only I heard. Hopefully. Um. Okay, our opponent is playing a counter attack. And I am playing a counter counter attack. Oh. Well then. Huh. Okay. That's cool. Ish. So I want to batten down the hatches on the file their rook is on. Hang on. Hang on, that's extremely aggressive. Are you going to do something crazy to justify your... Okay, you have a retreat. That's the first retreat. Um, how many times can I get them to retreat? We're going to aim at the edge, um, and it's going to be fun. I really don't know what they're doing. Nana Fun. What in the world is happening? All right. 
Well, so in Go and in other board games, there's something called flavor or Aji. That refers to that quality that um, is just synonymous with excellence and flavor. Um, and yeah, here this position uh, is most enjoyable. It's not winning, but the opponent's position is very difficult to hold. So, we'll see what we can do about this. Maybe I'm provoking this gold advance? I don't know. This looks interesting. Again, not winning, but like just super interesting. Maybe I need to break the diagonal open soon. Or maybe my silver does need to cross this line. I don't know. Sampun.
2分30秒2分。What a confusing game. They probably take my silver at this point. Balancing attack and defense is hard. Um. Thankfully, they only have one rook. I mean, the other rook is stuck in a corner, right? Ipun. Thanks for the game. Slight blunder at the end there, but I'm not sure if it mattered. We'll never know. One down, two to go. Good luck.
I missed the spawn advance. I should have played this. I get a second chance. Interesting. Alright, let's play it. Snap the bishop moves. Okay, well. That's special. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't have a pawn in hand. How great would it be to have a pawn here? Could I arrange to get a pawn? Let's find out. Yeah, they had the pawn in hand, I didn't, so I wasn't able to approach on this while their silk was back here. Okay. Um, yeah, that defends this point, sure. Hmm. What a mess. Oh, plus my knight's still exposed if they try to approach it. Um. Let's go back. Oh, wow. Lots of cautious moves from this opponent. Um, it almost justifies my ridiculous strategy. Almost. Well... Eh, can't quite get away with nonsense here. I'll just have to play some calm moves and defend the knight's head and slowly build our way out of this mess yes I did just block my rook and my bishop oh oh hey look I hung a pawn um, not the worst thing I've done in the last ten moves. Uh, okay. Might actually be a good thing. Why the heck not? Well, at this point, what's the worst they can do? Alright, we've done this exchange. Oh, I was going to drop my bishop here. They saw that, and they say no. Okay. Nanafun. The struggle begins.
I would hit the knight, but I don't see a realistic chance of removing it. So we're going to aim for other targets instead. And then come back to the knight when it becomes a realistic target. But for now, it's just not. For now, other targets make more sense. It would be great likewise to aim for this pawn, but then it promotes and, like, I've got nothing. So, yeah, their constellation is set up. I mean, yeah, if we could get the lance to move, we could drop a bishop here, then take the pawn and be threatening this, and who knows what other things, but um, it's not my turn. Right now I couldn't drop the bishop there because the lance covers it, so it's just where we're at. Interesting. The rook is potentially a target here. Go hmm. Running from a fork is inadvisable, so we're just going to let that hang. The worst part here is that this gold, like, there's nothing I can do to save it, so this is still, even if I manage to win a piece, this is still going to be a very challenging endgame. Um, that's if I win a piece. Mm -hmm. So we hit the pawn, and this gold, and this lance. That exploits a pin. It would have helped had I seen the pin in the first place. Okay. Well, that's not good to see. <sighs> what in the world can I do? Um, try to get the dragon out of here, I guess. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, so if I take the dragon, I get checkmated. That's what they're saying, and it's not wrong. Um, hmm. That's not good. I should have taken this instead. All right, well, we'll try to run then. 
But yeah, that taking the silver would have been a better use of a turn than trying to scare away a dragon. Um, turns out it's kind of difficult to spook a dragon. Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks for the game. Well done. would have helped had I known that shape, but maybe in some future game I uh, will remember it. That was really cool. I'm impressed. But also, I should have known that by now. Good luck. Hmm. Hmm. Since the rook is on this side, that means the king is going this way. All right, let's try this. How bad can it be? Yeah, I should resist pushing this so quickly in the future. Um... I have some ideas here that might not be sound. I want to sack the bishop. And they're giving me a very fun reason to sack it. So we'll see where we end up. But as long as my pieces are active, it shouldn't matter how many pieces I have, right? Or does it matter? And if it matters, then why? Interesting. 
That looks cool. I don't have to take it. But if I don't take it, they have made inroads in my position. But this is not time for alarm. Not just yet. I'm more puzzled than anything else. All right, let's do it. Nanafun. Maybe I shouldn't let them sack right against my king as I'm pronouncing such a statement, but... Um... Hmm, I'm now wasn't even trying to win the silver general. I was trying to gain a tempo by diverting this rook. Um That was my goal. It now occurs to me I'm not like such a diversion goal ain't gonna work out the way I thought. But even that's fine. Um The underlying principle of just use the pieces, dummy, um, seems to work pretty well. So this one, two, check. That's what we're looking at. One, two, check. Um, if I take the knight immediately, it's a move faster but a lot more expensive. If I take here, they drop a silver. That's the problem. Um, that's what I'm trying to wrestle with at the moment. Screw it. Let's just believe in this. Yeah, everything's hanging, but if we just believe, it'll be fine, right? Probably not. Oh, maybe I needed to push this. Also, I missed that, but that... Okay, they're threatening this three times. Um... This is bizarre. Takes, take, okay, yeah, no, that's a Gofum. pretty serious threat. Um, all right, you get me to retreat. The hell do I do now? They have both bishops. I have no attack. Hmm, this is rough. We prevent the bishop from going on this diagonal.
This is so rough. I should not have dropped the gold so far away from the king. Each move that I have to spend approaching is a move that I lost. So I lost a lot of moves earlier. Um, I didn't realize that. That's why this attack is not going well. If my attack were closer to the king, it would have some chance of success, whereas here it just it's pretty doomed. Uh, also, yeah, at least I'm unburying my rook. So maybe in some distant future, maybe my rook someday might have a future. Um, if knight takes, I could drop a silver here to hit the rook and indirectly threaten the knight. But then the rook can just move over, and I can't really take this, can I? Well, that's what I'm debating, is taking the knight anyway and bringing this knight out. If they promote, I drop a silver, the rook runs back, I would try to run my knights up. But I don't think... well, I still kept the silver in hand. It's not like I have no attack, but it's pretty sad. Just everything here. Uh, wait, if they move the knight out, I could move my knight out. We exchange, or rather they take, I do rook takes here. I need my rook to do something this game. I know a rook on the same rank as the king here is a good defensive piece. This is such... Uh, okay. Meanwhile, I've been ignoring that the whole time because it either works or it doesn't. And no amount of thinking about it is going to change how that works. So, I didn't bother thinking about it. If it fails, it fails. Um... Oh, that's risky. Pawn drop would have been safer, because they drop another pawn here. Um, or not. Hmm. Okay, we're both playing a lot of very silly moves. Very, very silly moves. That move makes sense. Finally, one of us played a move that makes some degree of sense. And it wasn't me. Nope. This is so bad. This allows them to attack faster, but I don't have a choice. I can't move this gold. If I move this, then their rook drop swarms all over my position. Whereas as it stands now, like, the rook drop is only mostly fatal. Uh, but yeah, they can just throw away any number of pieces to get my king separated from my gold. So that's going to be great. Uh, maybe my king needs to run over here. They have both bishops, so this there's no way I can escape this. Sampun.
<laughs> Blocking with the rook just gets a silver in my face, so I'm going to try this direction. But this is also a disaster. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. That's not great. Um. You're dead if you do, and you're dead if you don't. So let's try it. Um. Two. Show me how this game works. It's not that hard. There might have been easier ways, but the way they're doing seems more than adequate. Hmm. If I go this way, they sack a horse or something down there. Oh, this is beautiful. Check this out. I thought my king would be able to keep running forward. Um, I was mistaken. But yeah, next you can actually move the horse right there. And it reveals how important it was for me to keep this knight. A uh, knight that's not there anymore. Alright, uh, I see we're having some fun. That's okay. Hmm. Oh, Bishop takes is kind of cute, isn't it? Thanks for the game. Well played. All right. What did we learn from this? I'm not sure, other than uh, a lot of practice is required to improve at this game. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.